Hello, this is Mike, NoStressMike.com. Uh, I want to talk about uh, uh, our, our alkaline water. <laughs> I can't even say it. Uh, uh, my thoughts, my thoughts on alkaline water. Uh, now, the pH they they uh, uh, promote the high pH in the water is what makes it good, good water. I've had it before, and I like it, but I like water too, and so uh, it, it was it was good. Now, uh, uh, the is it good for you? Uh, I would say it probably is. Uh, it's going to fix all your problems or a lot of your problems. I have not, I've not, uh, I've not experienced that type of results. I know people that have these machines and uh, they still have health issues. So I, I, and I don't know, most of the time when it comes to water, most of the time the, the reason is people don't have enough clean water. So, uh, the ones that have been used, that have these machines and are, are, are doing this stuff, um, they still have health issues. So, I'm wondering, maybe um, they, don't have a, they don't drink enough water. Uh, that could be one reason. Uh, another thing is, uh, when you have low pH you open yourself to be sickly okay in other words the way I'm looking at it uh, low pH is a symptom of your bad health so in other words drinking high pH water alkaline water by itself is not going to uh, do a lot in the way of improving your health. Now, uh, so <laughs> I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, um, what I do is I drink um, purified water. I purify my own water. Uh, I use a Berkey purifying, uh, water purifying system. You pour the water in the top and it just kind of filters it all down. Uh, I've used it for, uh, let's see, probably 18, 18 years maybe. Uh, that's the majority of my water comes through, through the Berkey system. Um, the, the thing is, another thing that I, I question, uh, I've lived in places where the water is really, really bad. Uh, Western Oklahoma is a good example. Uh, the, they, they got rotten water. It's really, really bad. And uh, uh, I use... Uh, my Berkey on that to clean my water on that, and but the thing is, if you have uh, one of these uh, machines that alkalines your water, and your water source is nasty, uh, I don't, I don't quite see. Uh, you're going to have, you might get the high uh, pH, but you're still going to have uh, nasty water. 
and uh, so Western Oklahoma would be an example where I'm at now in Guatemala uh, their water is really really bad uh, their public water I said we've got a water well and even our water well isn't as good as it should be but uh, I purified that now uh, another thing when you're using uh, when you're using public water not so much here but in the United States a lot of places in the United States uh, use fluoride and all kinds of nasty stuff in the water so you can pH it uh, you can you know bring the pH up but I don't know is that going to take the uh, the chlorine out, um, or chlor not chlorine, uh, fluoride, fluorine. I think it's fluoride is what they put in. And uh, but these are all contaminants. It doesn't make any difference. The best water is the water with nothing in it. <laughs> you know, so you want to get all of the the chemicals out of your water. Uh, fluoride, I guess it is. Yeah, and. Uh, now, uh, even the Berkey, uh, as good as its uh, filtering system is, they have to add another filter to that to get uh, the fluoride out. Fluoride's very, very difficult to get out of the water. So, uh, uh, to me, the best water is just plain water, nothing in it at all. Uh, there, there may be advantages in the high uh, uh, pH, the alkaline water. Um, I haven't, I haven't seen it. It looks good when you put the numbers. You know, remember we talked about studying stuff. Uh, you study things, and uh, but you're not, you're not taking in consideration everything that's being studied or you're taking in, you're taking in consideration everything is being studied but not everything is being studied so you're missing some things so uh, the that's what I'm talking about um, high pH may be good but you're right back to you have to have good clean water I drink at least two liters of water a day I'm I'm kind of active I sweat a lot so uh, I uh, go through water and I, I mean it's at least two liters I have a two liter bottle that I drink plus I drink other water throughout you know throughout the day and, and uh, other than that so uh, but that's the one that I make sure that I'm drinking at least that two liters of water and that's something that uh, you need to let me change I don't like that yellow there yeah, that's not that really good but uh, you need to uh, keep that in mind how much water and it's got to be clean clean water the cleanest water you can possibly come up with and then uh, um, I'm in, until I'm able to do long term and uh, get some experience myself with the alkaline water um, I'm I can't promote spending thousands of dollars for their, uh, their system. I, I just, I can't justify it. And, uh, but anyway, uh, I thought I'd just uh, let you know. Uh, this is Mike, nostressmike.com.